friends and welcome to my channel my name is Veronica in today's episode of cruising videos I would like to talk to you about what to pack for a cruise in the Mediterranean what kind of clothes what kind of shoes primarily for ladies of course I am going on the cruise in the Mediterranean and I'm going to stay there for three weeks so I need to pack smart I need to pack light clothes I have a little surprise for you today I'm going to demo the clothes that I'm going to pack for my Mediterranean cruise and I'm going to leave the links in the description below to all these products and all these clothes and shoes so you can check them out as well. When you're planning a cruise to the Mediterranean, you have to take into consideration the weather and what it's going to be like the days when you're going to cruise. So most of the time when you go in the summertime, it's pretty warm or sometimes even hot. So you have to pack the clothes that will help you stay cool, stay protected from the sun, and also you should bring some layers because it never hurts to put something on or take it off depending on the weather or the wind. You don't want to be too cold or too hot, so the layers is the best solution when it comes to that. When talking about the ratio of outfits, you will need at least two outfits per day of cruising because you need something during the day, whether it's a casual outfit or something nice like a dress, and you need an evening outfit as well because you're going to go to a nice dinner in the restaurant on the cruise ship or maybe you will have a nice dinner at the port of call also for the shoes you will need at least four to six pairs of shoes for that week or that 10 days of the cruise because you will need the casual sandals you will need the walking shoes as well as a couple of evening shoes to look nice to go dancing or to go to dinner I like to do is to match my clothes so I usually pack colors that will match with each other for example for this specific cruise that will go to Greece that will go to the Mediterranean I'm going to pack blue colors black colors white colors and beige colors this way if I wanted to wear them together they will all match and will go well together I will need about 14 outfits for one week of cruise but since I'm going for three weeks I can reuse these outfits or I can wear them again once every week so for three weeks of cruising 14 outfits should be plenty and I can wear each outfit at least three times so the first tip I already mentioned to you is the layers 
So make sure you bring enough camis, you bring t-shirts, and things you can wear under other layers like jackets or sweaters so they can all match together. Same for shorts and pants. Bring a couple of pairs of each so that you can change outfits depending on the weather or depends on the occasion. The other very important tip is to pack light. So whichever clothes you're going to pack with you, make sure those clothes are maybe cotton or linen, something stretchable and something that doesn't wrinkle easily. If you're packing a couple of shorts that might get wet from swimming or from the rain, you want those shorts to dry fast. So when you're buying new shorts or pants on Amazon, make sure the material and fabric is light and something that will dry in a couple of hours in your cabin. I also like leggings or jeggings or stretchable capris that you can always match with any outfit and they will be easy, comfortable, dry fast and will look nice no matter where you're going. Another thing to consider is Europeans love fashion. So when you're going overseas, when you go into Mediterranean or any parts of Europe, everybody dresses very nice. So even though it might be a casual walk around the town or you're just going on the excursion, just keep in mind that people will be dressed up, especially in the evenings when they're going to have a nice dinner. So make sure you bring some of those nicer clothes. Dress up. Wear a dress wear nice flats or heels, whatever you're comfortable in, but make sure you have those things on you no matter where you're going. Now let's talk about shoes. And I know a lot of women love their shoes. We love heels. We love to bring a lot of shoes on our vacations, but here you have to pack smart. At least you need to pack one pair of walking shoes that are extremely comfortable. The shoes that I like to bring on my vacations are Crocs, and those are your substitute for sneakers. They're extremely light, very comfortable to walk in. They air out. Sometimes it can be extremely sweaty to wear regular sneakers. So these Crocs shoes are so comfy and so perfect and ideal for walking. Then of course, I bring comfortable sandals. Yes, it's an open toe, but they're very, very comfortable to walk. So when it's hot, when it's dry, or even if it's wet or if it's raining, you're not gonna sleep out of them and you can still make it back to the ship. I will definitely pack flip-flops to go to the pool on the cruise ship or flip-flops just to walk around the ship in case I'm gonna go get lunch or have the shoes that you can slip in and be comfortable. The other pair that I really like that I purchased recently is the travel flip-flops that fold and you can actually take it with you on the plane. So instead of wearing sneakers on the plane, you can slip into these flip-flops or pack them away at the end of the flight. They're washable, they're comfy, and it's perfect for trips like this. Then of course, I'm going to bring a couple of pairs of dress up shoes. I do love heels, but most of my heels are so high and they might not be super comfortable for dancing. I'm almost 45 years old. So of course, I'm not going to pack those high heels that I'm going to be dying on after a couple of hours after dinner to go to the club or whatever it is. So I do love the wedges and I purchased a couple of pairs that are absolutely beautiful that go well with beautiful dresses or whatever you're wearing at night to go to dinner or to go to the club dancing afterwards. And you can be in them for hours without worrying about sore feet at the end of the night. Although in the United States, women don't wear summer dresses as often unless they go on vacations, in Europe, on the other hand, it's very fashionable to look feminine. So definitely pack a bunch of those dresses. Pack a couple of summer dresses for the day, summer dresses for the night, and you will always look fashionable, will always look nice. Pair that with nice hats, with some statement fashion jewelry and accessories, nice little purses that are light to pack in your suitcases. But it always feels festive when you dress up in a dress. But I will definitely pack at least five dresses for myself for day and night that I can mix them with other clothes and always look nice. 
One accessory that I would definitely recommend would be a scarf. Bring a large, beautiful scarf with you that you can cover in case it's a little bit windy, maybe a little bit chilly in the evening, and you have this beautiful dress with the open shoulders, so you can always cover yourself with a scarf or just use it on the cruise ship when you're outside, on the deck, or going someplace to dinner. Just look around and see what matches and what goes with your other outfits, and it will always look beautiful and fashionable. The other thing that I also purchased online is the pack of sunglasses. You can purchase really inexpensive sunglasses for $10 or $20 and you can get a pack of two or three of them and then you can match them with different outfits. They're so cheap but they look very fashionable and you're not afraid to break them. And most of my cruises or most of my vacations in the past, I didn't even bring expensive sunglasses because every time you put them in the purse, you put them in your pocket, they break. And then it's a shame because some of those sunglasses you can spend two or three hundred dollars on and you don't want to bring them because you might break them or they might get stolen. So just bring some cheap sunglasses, buy them online. They're inexpensive, but they look great. So let's talk about the bags that you can pack with you. Of course, bring a couple of evening bags to go out to dinner, the little purses that will match your beautiful dresses. But when you go on shore, when you go to a new country, when you go on a shore excursion, you should be very aware of your surroundings because there are a lot of pickpocketers out there in Europe and they will try to get in your bag, steal your wallet, steal your money. So besides the beach bag and something that zips up, you should also consider bringing a bag that is theft proof. I personally have a couple of them. Initially, I purchased this little backpack that is theft proof. And this little backpack has a number of pockets that are very convenient, like there's a pocket in the front. There are multiple pockets inside. My camera can fit in here. My any kind of accessories, my toiletries can fit in here, my wallet, uh, even my little tablet if I wanted to bring a tablet with me. It even has a little pocket on the side if you wanted to put your water bottle in here. So I really, really love this little bag because it is a backpack. It can go in the, on your back. But the great thing about these bags uh, made by Travelon is that if somebody wanted to make a cut or pull it from you or steal it from you, they can't. This fabric is very durable. And the other thing is all these little zippers, they lock. So you really cannot open it up when you have it on your back and somebody comes from behind you because the zippers go in a special area that locks. So it's not that easy to just open up your pocket and get any, any of your belongings. And as you can see, it just doesn't come off or it's not easy to just open up your pocket unless you know what it is and unless you know that this thing has a special lock, a secret little lock. So, and it goes the same for this main compartment and you will have to do it yourself. If you had it on your back, you wanted to get something out of this bag, you have to take it off and you have to get into that pocket, but you have to go through that lock first in order to get inside. So this is a backpack. 
It's small, it's convenient, it's easy to carry around. You can put your valuables in it and it's a great way to, to bring your valuables without worrying about anybody getting into your back pocket or anybody getting into your purse. Just recently, I purchased this bag from Travelon, the anti-theft bag. And since the other bag was more of a backpack, this is more like a purse that just goes over your shoulder or crossbody bag. And it's also great because it has the same technology, has the same concept. It's very robust and durable. You cannot cut through it. As you see, it has a couple of pockets in the front. So you have one pocket, two pockets. And when you close these pockets, it goes into this little lock on the side and here you are now your pockets zipped pockets are locked and nobody can get into it and the same goes for the middle compartment as you see it's nice and very roomy in there this is a smaller version of this bag they have a little bit larger version if you want something that's slightly bigger you can put your credit cards in here because it's rfid secured it even has a little lighter inside so if you're in the dark room or you want to see find something inside of your bag you can actually have a little light in here so this gives you a little light to shine in your bag and to find what you're looking for. And I like that it's blue color because the colors of the clothes I'm taking are blue, white, beige, and black. So this will match beautifully with all of my outfits when I am taking those shore excursions. So I definitely recommend for you to consider those uh, anti-theft bags because in big cities like Rome, in Greece, Athens, or in Italy, or any big city where there are a lot of tourists, like in Paris as well, you're going to have a lot of people who will be pickpocketers, who will be walking around you trying to get into your bag, trying to steal your belongings. So make sure you have one, at least one of these handy for those shore excursions. So you don't get left out because if you have those larger bags those straw bags that maybe don't zip up it's so easy just to put your hand in there and steal whatever you have in your bag the other thing that i always bring with me is the water bottle that is reusable and of course it has a filter in it so if you're going on shore and you would like to bring a water bottle with you without buying bottled water because in europe they will not have tap water you'll have to purchase bottled water and that might not be super expensive but at times you know in europe they don't believe in ice a lot of times they don't always offer ice drinks or cold drinks from the refrigerator so if you're buying a bottled water it might be warm temperature or room temperature so if you like your drinks cold and you would like to bring a reusable bottle definitely look into those uh, breeder water bottles that i bring on all of my trips because you can refill it anywhere the water will be filtered and then you can even ask them at the store or at the restaurant wherever you're going you can ask them for a cup of ice and then you can pour ice in the water bottle and your water will stay nice and cold for the rest of the day. On Norwegian cruise ship or other cruise line, they have theme nights. So they have a white night where you're wearing white clothes, or you have some theme nights of the 90s or 80s. So research that in advance. So pack some of those extra outfits for the theme nights to make it fun. At a minimum, pack all white outfit, white dress, a white pants, a white shirt, so you can wear it at those theme nights because it is a lot of fun. Cruise ships, of course, have a pool and jacuzzi or hot tub. So bring your swimsuits, Bring the cover-ups for the swimsuits, maybe flip-flops. Don't bring any towels, but make sure you bring the sunblock because on the cruise ship, the sunblock will be extremely expensive. The other thing I also bring for swimming is the water shoes. I usually bring a couple of pairs because water shoes can take a day to dry off. Sometimes when you have excursions back to back or the next day you have an excursion and the following day and you're gonna be going to the beach or you're gonna be swimming. So bring a couple of water shoes different colors so that the next day you always have a dry pair to wear. The weather can be unpredictable and if you don't want to bring an umbrella, bring a poncho. So this year I purchased myself a poncho that I can reuse. In the past I would just bring those cheap plastic ones that you buy for a few dollars on Amazon for a whole family. But this year I decided to get myself a nice one so I can reuse them every time I go on the cruise or on vacation so I can wear the same poncho over and over again. And I have this beautiful one that I purchased from Amazon. It has a beige and black colors and you can dry it off 
and use it again the next day. But it nicely covers uh, not only your head and the rest of your body, but it also can cover your purses, pants, or your shoes. This way, you don't get wet. In the evening time, it can get a little bit windy or cooler, either on shore or on the cruise ship deck. So make sure you have some kind of sweater, maybe a couple of sweaters that you bring with you. Maybe one just a casual sweater, and the other one will be a more formal jacket that you can wear with a dress or on top of your dress-up clothes. So the jacket that I found for myself was a neat jacket with stripes, but it goes nicely on top of the dress. So it doesn't wrinkle, you can put it easily in your bag, it's almost like a sweater, but it's a more formal attire, so you can always look nice and dressy when you put it on top of your dress. You might be packing sweaters for cooler days, but the neat jacket that goes over your dress that is more dressy is a nice add-on to your wardrobe, because then you can always wear it to be more dressed up, to be more formal. And in my previous videos that I'm going to leave a link in the description below, I'm going to show you how I did laundry on the cruise ship last year because I didn't bring enough clothes. I only had carry-on. I didn't have any luggage. So I was able to wash some of my clothes and just hang it around the cabin to dry off for the next day. This way I didn't have to pack that many outfits to take with me. So check out my link and the tips on packing and doing laundry on the cruise ship. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. Subscribe to my channel and leave comments or questions below. Happy cruising!